Welcome back to my kitchen. The next page in our taco manual takes us sort of to queso fundido. Now the translation for queso fundido is just melted cheese and it's a specialty that you'll find in a lot of the northern Mexican restaurants, especially the ones that serve that beautiful roasted goat called cabrito. And they will make little earthenware pots of melted cheese. They serve it on the table. You scoop it up. Well, I will say you scoop it into tortillas and make tacos out of it. So that's why we're kind of doing a queso fundido taco. But I find a lot of people have trouble with it because the cheese cools off too fast and then it's really hard to make tacos out of and it's just not very good. So I'm going to show you what I call my roasted poblano queso fundido inspired by a taqueria near our apartment in Mexico City at a place called Los Parados. Um, and they actually stuffed cheese directly into poblanos like this and put it on a wood burning grill and turn it until the exterior is nicely charred and the soft cheese on the inside can be kind of chopped up with it and then they make tacos, okay? So I'm gonna show you the way that you could do that. If you're gonna have four or five people around and you wanna make these cheesy roasted poblano tacos, a kind of version of queso fundido. First thing you gotta do is roast the poblanos because we're gonna get these guys done ahead of time. I've put them on a rimmed baking sheet here and I've got my broiler on high. I've got the shelf the highest position that it can be in here. And I'm gonna slide these guys in. I am going to let them roast for a few minutes until they start to blacken on the top. And then I'll go in there and turn them a little bit at a time until they're blackened all over. When the poblanos have cooled off enough that you can handle them, then just rub off all that blackened skin. Then open them up so that you can pull out the seed pod and the stem will just come right with it. Then kind of get rid of as many of those seeds as possible and then quickly rinse them off so that you get rid of stray bits of skin and stray seeds. Then chop them into small pieces about a quarter of an inch. Okay, I'm finished with the preparations now here. I've got the roasted, peeled, and diced uh, chiles poblanos. I've got some shredded cheese. I encourage you not to buy shredded cheese. It all has cellulose on the outside and it doesn't melt particularly well. I've got some salsa and hopefully I've got some friends around that are going to help me eat this because once we get to this stage, we want to have everybody gathered because this doesn't take any time at all. I'm going to scrape the poblanos into this skillet that I have heated over kind of a medium heat. Spread them out. My heat, I want to get my heat exactly right here. Um, I'm going to shake them around a little bit in this skillet. You could stir it if that's an easier way for you to do it. Um, this is just to warm them at this point because once they get warm, if they're, when they're steaming, and I can see these are starting to steam now, I'm going to start stirring in this cheese and melting it in with it. This is a really fun thing to do with, when you've got friends around, especially if they're just hanging out in the kitchen with you, because they'll see this thing coming together and it will make them really, really happy. Okay, so I've put a big handful of cheese in with our steaming poblanos. I think it's easiest to do this in a non-stick skillet if you have one. It's certainly not a deal breaker if you don't. I'm going to put another big handful of cheese in here because that one is almost melted. And then I'll stir this around as it melts in. Usually there's enough salt in cheese that you don't have to do any seasonings for this. See, it's already just making my mouth water here. And then the last, we've got that melted. The last addition of the cheese here. Stir that in. And we are ready to serve. So you can see how fast this comes in. And of course, there's nothing that is 
more attractive to most people than stringy, gooey, melted cheese. Okay, you can see it's just chock full of those poblano chilies. So we'll take this off. Yeah, keep it in the skillet. I say stir, serve it from the skillet because anything that you do at this point um, to transfer it out of here will start to cool it down and then of course the cheese will begin to set up. Um, I keep stirring it here because the edges have gotten quite hot and I don't want them, I don't want the cheese to break at all there. Okay, so let me show you what a couple of these cheesy roasted poblano tacos will look like here. I'm going to lay a couple of warm tortillas out here. I'm going to pull that closer to me because, yeah, this is, oh, just look at it. It's so pretty. So I suggest that you make tacos for your guests. Spoon out the gooey goodness like that. I like to put just a spoonful of roasted tomatillo salsa on it because it's tangy and it will contrast the richness of the, of the cheese. If you have it, um, I would suggest a few leaves of cilantro because it'll add a beautiful freshness to your tacos. And there you have it. Something that's kind of good looking.